so this is green juice. Mm -hmm. And normally I'll go and I'll buy just like a cup of it. And From where? The farmer's market. Okay. And then this time I went and I got like a big container. And it's like multiple days. Sure. I actually got really worried that he would come over to film this and see my juice and then ask for some. I almost did. I didn't want to give it to you. I know you didn't. Because I'll get, I give you so many things when you come to my house. Yeah. I feed you. I, I give you water. But you never come to my house to allow me to feed you. What's at your house? So, welcome to JVU Topics 3.0. Uh... Allison's about to finish her juice, and then she'll be, uh, I'm, I'm certain, your best self. I stayed out late this weekend. Yeah, Allison hosted a bachelorette party. Yeah, and so we we went to the club. and You were at the club, insta-storying the club. I was at a club, yes. Yeah. Like, maybe the club. <laughs> Nelly performed. Yeah. After 1 a.m. It was a lot. Did you drink? A man passed out on the floor, and security had to carry him out. Did you drink? I had one drink. A cider? No, it was disgusting. I had to water the whole thing down. Anyway, um, so we wanted to talk about cheating. Particularly we wanted to talk about it. I don't know what there is to say. Okay, well, particularly in in an episode that we did about polyamory, you said a very interesting thing that I wanted you to say more about, which is that you have you used to think that cheating meant the end of a relationship. Mm -hmm. And now you think it's just a thing that can be worked through. I think it's a thing that makes a relationship better. How? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, here's a thing that I have a lot of thoughts on. Yeah, please. When someone is with a serial cheater, yeah, and that person has cheated in the past, and you're so terrified that they're going to cheat in the future, which is something I've experienced, why not just be in an open relationship with that person? Because what if you're insecure and you want monogamy? But I just feel like if you're signing up for that type of person, then you need to be the bigger person and say, I know that you're incapable of monogamy. Yeah, and then if they're incapable of monogamy, then, then you don't have to be there. Because if you want monogamy, then just leave. Right. But sometimes the serial cheater will convince you and say, oh, the gaslighting you. No, I won't do that to you. I won't do that to you. And I think sometimes they really believe that. Oh, I think they do believe it. They that. really believe it. And they think, We're I'm really, you're different. Mm -hmm. I'm different with you. And maybe they like want to change and they really want, want to, change. to change. So it, they, I think you should give yeah, them a I chance. Yeah, I take back what I said. Maybe, no, you're right. Because if they say to you, I, I probably will. What the fuck? I think if they say to you, I might cheat on you, then have a discussion about some form of non-monogamy. I guess the thing that I've completely let go of is the idea of pretending that neither of you are attracted to other people. That's so stupid. Because and I why? almost like to know like who they think is cute. It's like fun. <gasps> this is the best day of my life! Sometimes my boyfriend will look at a girl on television and say I would die for her. <laughs> I, would do, I would do anything to be with her. And then I said, one time I said, would you kill me? Do you think if someone cheats on you, mm -hmm. then you have to leave? It depends, right? So I've thought about this a lot just because there's so many hours in the day and I have to think of something. Right. And so, for example, with my ex from two exes ago. Mm hmm Dan. Uh, we, Everyone knows Dan. <laughs> like he he was a um, a serial cheater yeah. up until our relationship at least I think and and I looking back now like if he cheated on me like I don't think it would necessarily have ended things because he was very upfront about that being a thing that he did mm -hmm. and I wouldn't feel like oh my god I don't know this person at all. Yeah. But okay. like with my most recent ex if he had cheated on me I would have broken up with him because it would have been so out of character and so not what I thought I was getting into. Yeah, but then if it's out of character for them, then you go, oh, maybe they just made a mistake. I guess it depends on the scenario. This is the difference for me, is lying. Yes. So I can handle a one-night issue. And then the next day they, they tell, tell you, you immediately. That's like completely yeah. different from 
an affair. From an affair. Or could, from I, someone keeping it from you for months, like doing it and then being like a year later, like by the way. Yeah, but I, I having experienced that through friends, I can see why they would maybe do that. And yeah. that telling the person if it is an isolated incident, sometimes it does just blow everything up for no reason. Yeah, the, the worry I have is that if you're, like they're putting you in danger a little bit because you're not consenting to like maybe getting an STD or like yeah. what if that person they cheated with gets pregnant or you don't know. Yeah. And then 18 years later, you're in a beautiful marriage and that kid comes looking for child support and you didn't sign up for paying child support. Uh-huh. So you're really pulling from your own family. Yeah, I know. I super am. I mean, to me, like if it, if it happened twice, I'd be done. Lying is a thing I cannot understand or tolerate. Uh, yeah, me neither. Because I don't like being made to feel foolish. <laughs> I don't! Like, I know. I'm laughing because of how often you say that. Because I hate it, and it happens so much. Like, I had an ex who I would just be like, I don't care, like, sleep with whoever you want. And then he would lie for no reason. And I was like, you're just, like, interested in making me look dumb at this point. Like, you don't well, respect I don't think, me. I it don't was think like, you don't he, respect I don't me. Think he, I don't think he believed that you would be okay with it. Right, so he would just do it anyway? That's crazy. Has that the only time you've been cheated on? I was, no, I was cheated on by that guy. I was cheated on by uh, the the famous ex. I oh, was, I thought that's who you were talking no, about. No, I was talking about um, college ex-boyfriend. Oh, yeah. College ex-boyfriend would cheat all the time. Oh, yeah. And then, And then like, what would you do? One time he cheated on me and I found out and then I immediately went and hooked up with someone else. <laughs> Look, That's I, was, advice. I was 19, I was not proud of it, but I immediately, immediately, like, I saw him cheating on me at a party. Oh, you saw it? I saw him. I left the party and went to the dorm of a different dude and fucked him. <laughs> okay, this is juicy. I saw him cheating on me. He, like, was like, I'm sorry. We left the party, and then he was like, when we were outside the party, he goes, actually, I'm going to go back up and go and sleep with that girl. Wait, say it one more time. So we what? were at I a party. Process what you right, just said. it was the craziest thing that ever happened. He and I were dating. We were living together. We were at a party. We were monogamous. We were at a party. He made out with a girl at that party. It was her apartment. I said, "Don't do that." We left the party. On the street, on the way to the subway, he was like, "Actually, I'm gonna go back up and like keep things going with this girl." And I said, "Please don't do that." And he said, "No, I think I'm gonna." And I said, "I wish you wouldn't." And he was like. Nah, I'm gonna. And so he left and went up and stayed the night with that girl. And I walked to the dorms and called another guy that I was friends with and fucked that guy. <laughs> must Did you have. stay together? I must have. We stayed together. And he, because he goes, oh, he did this, like, fucking gaslighting bullshit where the next day he was like, I'm so sorry. I was just scared of our relationship, and I wanted to prove to myself that I didn't love you as much as I did, but I do love you now, I know. And I was like, okay, and we stayed together. And that man is now someone's congressman. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been cheated on. Really? Yeah. That's cool. Good for you. I think that, thank you so much. I think that um, a guy was sort of seeing, like, uh, like they maybe there was like a little overlap, but it wasn't like clear what we were. You know what I mean? I remember that guy. I didn't know you then. You were an official, but he was shady. Oh yeah, that guy was real shady. Real shady. And lied about stuff. He was probably cheating on someone with you. Oh, and maybe. lying to her. Yeah, I've much. always been more jealous of ex girlfriends than like new people. Really? Yeah. Cause you think they might go back to them? I guess so. Or like they shared something important. Yeah, but then it's over. Is it? When it's over, that's the time I fall in love again. And go back to my ex-girlfriend. People be crazy. Yeah, they be crazy.